Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel, where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites, and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog, or your wish list, or your now playing list, or whatever you're doing out there. We're gonna add to it, okay? That's just the deal that you signed up for unknowingly when you clicked on this video. And I'm happy to deliver that news to you. If you like rogues, I'm so glad you're here with us. That is all we play every time. Speaking of rogues, I am back with a game that, uh, boy, you know, this one really took me by surprise. I was not immediately aware of it. The developer was kind enough to reach out and say, Hey, Goat, we think you'd like this game. Would you like to try this game? I said, of course I'd like to try it. It looks interesting. And by golly, it's a good game. It is. I have been coming back to this one. We showed it off the other day. And we're going to show it off again. And here's the hope. Here's the dream today. We're going to hopefully find a hidden character that one of the NPCs was nice enough to tip me off about. So I'm hoping we can find this character that might be hiding out there somewhere by the yellow mushrooms. Stick with me. It's going to make sense when we get there. You'll know when you know. And then... The plan is to take control of the said new character and show that dude off. That's the plan. That's the plan. So hopefully we'll have a good run here and then we'll have a nice run when we show off the new character. I'll tell you, I think that I am getting even more comfortable with the rhythm of the game. We talked about how this one had a really nice feel to it the other day. But it does take some time to develop a comfort level with the constant need to deflect both your weapon, depending on the character you're playing as, and or the projectiles in the area. But you just develop this Neo sense about it. Uh, you know, you, you go into this bullet time. Or maybe it's not bullet time and maybe I'm just in a haze of caffeine. Cheers to you, by the way. I am enjoying a French press here of one of the blends that I picked up during our vacation to Alaska. We took back in August. And I'll tell you, this is a dark roast. If you like dark roasts, this brings the earthiness, it brings the smokiness. It's, uh, it's a total win. This is a roast from Heritage Coffee Roasting Co. And it's called Black Gold. And I'll tell you, I think that's a very appropriate name for this one. Uh, but these guys are out of Juneau, Alaska. And they know how to bring the smoke. It's, uh, it's really nice. And I don't know about you, but you know, when you have the time to apply a little bit more care to the coffee, and you set yourself up with a French press. You're getting a velvety smoothness type of mouthfeel. And there's a richness to the coffee and the flavor. We're just out here living, folks. Cheers to you. Okay. Using your active skill fires several projectiles. You know... I think we're gonna go with this and just continue to build upon the deflection capability that we have.
Might this be a gigantic spider? I think it is. See, now that's an important detail that was shared with me by the NPC that I mentioned. We're gonna go new character hunting following this battle. What I found about this game as well is that if you want to play quickly, you can. I, I'd say runs have a really nice pace to them. All right, so we're not going to pick that up just yet. I'm actually looking for these mushrooms that were talked about. Hey, hey. Look at this. Find and follow the missing eggs. Find and follow the missing eggs. Okay. All right. Missing eggs. Okay. So we're on the lookout for missing eggs now. But are they over here? That's what's hard to say. All right, I'm gonna go with no. They're not over there. And we're gonna take the explosive boomerang evolution as well. Missing eggs, missing eggs. What does it all mean? I'm not ready to go to the store yet. So we'll take this path instead. We are definitely building up a nice level of power here. I gotta be honest, I thought maybe the character was gonna be hidden there. But I like that we're building up some mystery along the way. Let's go deflect. We'll grab some health. This is right in time here. Does this guy have anything to say about missing eggs? See, now I kind of want to look around these different areas here. Keep your eyes peeled, folks. All right. Speaking of the coffee from Juno, I was just thinking about the trip the other day. I'm not gonna lie to you. We we talked a lot about the food on the trip. That was that was certainly part of what I was thinking about because well because of course I was, right? Those buffets were just incredible. Virus projectiles. Deflected projectiles ricochet, hitting one additional enemy and dealing damage based on your deflect attribute. Wow. Ooh, this looks good too. Man. Both of these are great. All right, I'm gonna go with Deathmark. I haven't had that before. Some really neat powers have opened up as I've played the game more and more. Well, he's definitely marked. I was thinking about the mountains and the glaciers and just how peaceful 
they were uh, in how small they make you feel. I don't know if you have a stressful job that you're in or if you're regularly running into stressful moments in time. Sometimes we need a place for our brains to go to just focus on. And sometimes I think about these glaciers that we saw where years and years worth of compacted snow has melted on top of itself over and over and over again, just packing it down more and more and more over time. Developing these beautiful blue, majestic glaciers. Uh, majestic, it's a fancy word for beauty. Uh, it, it just, it doesn't do it justice. You know, it just doesn't. It was quite a sight. One of the mornings, and you know, we didn't even know this was happening. If, if you've ever been on a cruise, you've you've probably experienced this. You know, the captain will come on the intercom system uh, once or twice a day. But the intercom system, being the fact that it is an intercom system, deflecting releases two lines of bones and a cone. Oh, that sounds just wonderful. We're going to go with that. Being that it's an intercom system, it was extremely difficult to decipher the words being stated. Now, now, wait a second. Before we... Well, okay. I, I, I said before we, but now we're, we're blocked off now that I've walked in. Maybe there's some eggs. Maybe there's an egg situation happening here. I don't know. The message was a little bit cryptic, wasn't it? Ooh, that's beautiful that we trigger that even when we're blocking our own weapon. I am a fan of that. So anyway, got up the one morning and went out on the balcony and we were right in front of a glacier. I should say this, too, in case you're like me. A lot of folks have this assumption that a glacier is a gigantic ice spire that's sticking up vertically out of the water. I, I always thought that myself. It's not so. It looks more like um, a compacted ice island. Very small ice island. And uh, like I say, just a, just a deep blue, at least on the ones that, that we saw out there. We were right in front of this thing. Okay, we're gonna go... Ooh, this is this is interesting. I've always gone with crawlers, but I don't think I've tried the inner roots yet. Let's let's do that. Let's do some inner root action. Let's also check for some missing eggs here. Why don't we, right? Missing eggs. I don't know. I don't exactly sh quite know what I'm looking for with these eggs, and it might just be the fact that, you know, it's in one of the biomes that I haven't uh, quite visited yet. So let's grab our health here. And uh, maybe let's pick a new biome. I, I will be honest, I don't think I've gone to the magnetic fields. Now, that doesn't sound very eggy to me, but... Uh, you know, give it a shot here. Let's uh, let's get a little bit magnetic. Apparently, 
This is uh, this is interesting. Let's just check around the area real quick. All right. Should be looking for Mario or Luigi with these pipes. Now, now this is uh, this is interesting. This path goes on a little bit further than I thought it would. Hmm. Okay. Well, not seeing much. Maybe something opens up over there eventually. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the mutation. Oh, this is going to be interesting. We found out later in the day that it was possible to get on a very small craft to go and see the glacier, you know, very close. Up close and personal with the glacier. Uh, that small craft excursion left at four in the morning, local time. Now I can't remember the day that specifically. Oh, I do like the link. Reduces damage taken if great virus, apex virus, or three or more enemies are close to you. Uh, we're gonna go with the link. That's a good one. I don't exactly remember the, the night before, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess that we were up late and uh, that I had about 16 desserts that day. So, you know, I'm just thinking out loud here. I probably would not have been in any condition whatsoever to get up at that ungodly time, right? Okay. This is, uh, this is quite challenging. I mean, I like it. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I, Okay. Hey, we managed to get through it. Piercing projectiles, deflected projectiles pass through enemies. So this is going to increase the damage. Or we could release one more line of bones. I'm going to do that and just expand upon that capability. That sounds pretty good. All right. We are not going to have enough. Oh, that's right. Sometimes they're discounted because usually these augments are uh, 250, but I opened up some meta progression that... Uh... Now, wait, what is this? Oh, altered state transformer. Select a mutation to change its altered state. Uh... Not this time. I want this thing. Okay. Now that we're full up, maybe we'll dabble with changing altered states next time. That's also a new thing that I opened up with the uh, permanent upgrades area. Okay, these can be really tough, but you get to upgrade one of the mutations, which is a really attractive offer. And if we can survive this, we can make it to this health station. Let's go for it. I live a little. I, I knew we were going to be back here with this swirling electric field. Just had a really strong feeling. But as long as we keep doing our thing with the deflection, we're we're getting the the bones that drop, which are quite helpful. This actually isn't too bad just yet. You're like, oh, just wait, just wait. Oh, hey, there we go. There we go. Shows you how much I was paying attention to uh, the timer. All right, your main weapon marks enemies. Removes the mark. Right. Okay. Um, I think we're going to go homing laser. I know I don't dash frequently, but when I do, the opportunity to blast three lasers sounds pretty nice I'm gonna try to remember to do that now more often of course of course I dash right into a projectile right, can we go around no, we've got to go back down Oh, 
Well, that wasn't bad. And we've got health waiting for us right around the corner, so this is looking good. And if anybody sees missing eggs, please be sure to comment. Wow, that was a wide group of projectiles, wasn't it? Let's not get hit by that. All right, wave two, here we go. Ooh, that was neat. Okay, let's go deflect again. Should probably start putting into attack a little bit as well. This is good timing on the health. I know, I'm just taking a look, just taking a quick look. All right, all right. All right, we're good, we're good. Let's see who we got here. We're gonna use our power as well. Oh goodness, all right. Looks like we've gotta attack this main one. I don't know if attacking the smaller ones does anything to the enemy's life bar. Holy cow. This guy's no joke. Fire that off. Couple of quick dashes in there. Oh no. <laughs> Sometimes you just know. Okay. Let's continue. Now, I don't think we brought back enough stuff. We're going to go with this guy for this second run. I don't think we brought back enough stuff for any of the new permanent upgrades. I think this is just showing what we've earned so far in the collector's laboratory. Let's go and check on the dog real quick. Remember I mentioned you can pet the dog. It's cool. But I'm not seeing any missing eggs. Yeah, so that's the next one we're working towards here. You can see I've opened up some of the additional ones, adding some additional rooms in our journey. All right. Where are the eggs? Guided projectiles or blossom? Let's go with blossom. Uh, you know, let's look in the toxic sea, shall we? I feel like I should 
go down here real quick. Just to see. Yeah, I'm not seeing a nest or anything like that where you might hide some eggs. If you didn't see this guy in our last video, we've got a much more friendly uh, opportunity to deflect, a, a much wider swath. Okay. I think you can kind of blaze through these stages at a good pace if you know the path you want to go on and especially if you're not searching around for eggs you know what I'm saying uh, let's go with the attack attribute this time this one scales on attack, so we're going to keep that in mind, especially as we add more potential mutations. We might want to think about the fact that our goal is going to be to increase the attack attribute when those opportunities arise. Okay, killing an enemy summons a laser orb for a few seconds. The orb attacks nearby enemies. And it's going to go off of the attack attribute or bliss. Oh, bliss. I had this in one of my previous runs. It is phenomenal. It's a robot that basically does damage over time. It's like having a little uh, pet that goes out and finds the enemies and poisons them. It's wonderful. And it scales off of the attack capability. I think one of its hidden benefits is that if you track it, you can tell exactly where the enemies are at too. And I know we've got the helpful arrows uh, on our character that point out where they're hiding, but you can kind of use it in that way as well. I, I like it. That circular deflection really does come in handy when you're surrounded and there's a lot happening on the screen. I think we'll see that pay dividends a few times this run. Just wait a moment, I don't want to get hit with the toxic. Alright. Easy decision. I'll admit that after this, my plan is to play more The Void Reigns Upon Her Heart. What a lovely game. When hit by a deflected projectile, distant enemies have a chance to be struck by lightning. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. In theory, we're going to be deflecting lots of bullets across this run. Y'all got any of them missing eggs? And our 
robot is doing its thing. Oh, I think he got me. There we go. Take a sip of coffee. Cheers to you. Before we pick this up, let's see. Any platforms to step on? Any eggs? That are missing. I don't see any. All right. Sky sword. Your third attack is now a sword that falls from the sky. We saw that last time. Throwing your sword or using radial slash will consume only half the amount of rage. We're gonna go with the sky sword. Gonna get a little bit more of an AOE off of it. Uh, let's see here. Let's go. See, we might die if we do this. I've got to be realistic. But if we don't die, it's going to pay off in a big way. Let's see what happens. Let's roll the dice, shall we? Get off of that so we don't get poisoned. Oh, goodness. Basically, just focusing on these deflections. All right, let's get over there. And if this could end soon, that'd be great. All right. When hit by a deflected projectile or damage increase, let's go with the damage increase. Okay. So we get through this, and then we grab some health. That should work. These guys are dropping poison fields when they die. That's no fun. But I believe we have to build up that entire poison bar before it starts to harm us. All right, right on time with the health. Any, uh, y'all got any of them eggs over here? No, no, no eggs. Okay. I'm really on the lookout. I'd love to find that additional character. Looking forward to upgrading our poison bot as well. Just missed that. So you can kind of follow the bot around. And you know exactly where these guys are hiding. Like Electrical Storm, but we've got a lot of attack stuff happening, and Buttercup might be nice to have. Also, its name is Buttercup. Can't say no to that. All right. Oh, hey! Look at this! There we go, we'll just buy it. It's perfect. Okay. See anything? I don't see anything. I'm not seeing anything.
Oh, goodness. All right. This is going to take some focusing. Do not like those swings. Do not like them, Sam. I am. have our power. Where'd this guy go? Oh, no. Well, no new character this time, but we opened up some cool stuff. You no longer take damage when touching enemies. Instead, your dash is longer and deals damage based on your health attribute. Wow. Some cool stuff. Some really cool stuff. Just looking to see. Help the robot find the lost bio shell. I bet that's what we're looking for. Spark. All right, folks. This is a game called Deflector, and it continues to be fun. We're going to find that missing robot. Mark my words. We're going to get the bio shell. We're going to find the missing eggs, and... Uh, we're going to see some additional robots in action. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit more of this game. Sorry we didn't find the robot today. I'll make good on that. Let's do this again sometime out on the Goat Force Gaming Channel. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every time out here. And uh, you know what? We'll give away a video game at least once a week too. How about that? Giveaways are fun. You have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time out there. Take care.